is me again. I know this is too quick and you guys must be getting bored, but sometimes I just like to make videos. No, you know, I have time right now, so I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna go to this place in two, three minutes. Let's just make a quick video. So a request just came on this video. I usually don't do this, but sometimes if the request is too good, then I'll do it. The request is that, can you tell me what do I need to learn to become a system administrator? Now, for this, I have made a full detailed video. Go to Google, sorry, go to YouTube, type transition from help desk to system administrator with space job skills share. You will see so many videos. In that video, I explained how to become a system administrator and what you need to know in detail. But in this video, I'm going to share a little bit of information. I might not be totally correct because I don't have too much time in this video, but it will give you some ideas. If you want to become a system administrator, if you want to become a system administrator, when you say system admin, you're basically going towards that Microsoft system, Windows Server administrator, uh, Linux administrator, but you know when they hire a person with Linux skills, they specifically say Linux systems administrator or Linux administrator. So and when, when someone say just systems administrator, you're going towards mostly towards Microsoft environment, you know, Microsoft dominated environment. What I mean, what I mean by this, you need to know MCSA, you need to know servers, you know, how to deal with servers, how to connect them between together. You need to know about virtualization. It could be Hyper-V, which is a Microsoft technology, or you need to know about VMware, which is kind of the leader in virtualization. So these two things are very important for you to even land a job as a system admin. Now, most of you might be thinking, how do I gain experience and things like that? Of course, you need a uh, system admin is more advanced level job the pay is a little bit more than help desk so you do need that experience so start with a help desk try to move up quickly you know try to learn more advanced stuff talk to your company or manager that my goal is to become a system admin in advance so they already know you're going towards that route take uh, courses from your company so if you're already working as a help desk person you should be taking courses towards Microsoft certification that are focused on servers not just MTA and, and all these courses that just deals with desktops and operating systems you need to be working on servers networking is important as a system admin because you're not just dealing with servers that's just a you know no-brainer here a lot of people think that when you become a system admin unless you work for a very big company and they deal with servers only and they probably hired you for specific things in the servers that's different i'm talking about just normal system administrator that we kind of like you know see the jobs out there i'm not talking about very big companies i'm talking about normal system admin you probably will be working on and you will be working on connecting cisco switches routers and things like that at a basic level at least you need to know how to get into the router at least you need to know how to update a router you need to know what's going on in your network you should be able to troubleshoot networking issues also so networking is important so for that you would need like comp and network plus or maybe a little bit more advanced courses like you know cisco stuff like ccna and even more than that but depends it depends like i say i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lead you towards too much networking because if you want to become a system admin you shouldn't be going towards too much networking then you want to become a network engineer that's a little bit different story um so you need to know VMware, you need to know Hyper-V, you need to know about servers itself, like operating system, you need to get into uh, the operating system. You need to know about networking, these are the four major things. Then you need to know about something more than that. You know, like I explained, one of my videos, if you watch, uh, if you look at my videos, go and uh, uh, search the recent videos. I made a video, how to become a system administrator, watch this video, I named it specifically that. Watch that video, because then I went, go, uh, I went through real titles and I kind of like explain why you need to know more than just this stuff. Now you need to know about cloud technology like Cloudflare. You need to know about um, uh, something like, you know, firewalls because firewalls are you just work with security guys or you, if you don't have a security guy, you may be working on this on a normal daily basis, how to open a board, how to uh, add a new IP addresses, how to make a system secure, like PCI compliance kind of stuff. You know, you may be working on all of that stuff. So uh, it's not just servers, you know, you need to know more than that. So that's why 
that video and the video from transition from help this to assist amendment is important because I went in detail I will explain every single thing what you need to know to become a system administrator my last point about system admin if you don't have a scripting uh, knowledge or you don't have a scripting or some type of advanced level certification or advanced level skill now, a lot of people say how, how would I know this scripting is something that you should just start right now as a help desk or if you, even if you don't have a help desk position because it's a different skill you can learn from scratch there are so many materials they don't know scripting even I don't know at that level you know I know a little bit I can find some stuff here and there but I don't know at that level but you should know that let me tell you power um, uh, uh, what's that Microsoft I even forgot the name Wow power PowerShell. <laughs> PowerShell. This is like I'm Power BI, PowerShell. What the hell? PowerShell. You need to know this stuff. You know, because all these new technology that Microsoft is implementing, Office 365 and all their servers, you need to know if you want to do something very technical, you need to do something massive deployments and stuff, you need to know PowerShell. Simple. That that way, if you have PowerShell, this person, uh, another person, go for out from college, he has a resume, just MCSA certification, and you have uh, all of that, but uh, you have also... PowerShell with you, trust me, a person will pick you uh, with no problem. With no problem, you will, you will get picked. The reason is that you have some skills that a lot of people are missing these days. So you need to know that you need to have that unique skill with you. And that's one of the unique skills that I'm going to tell you as a system admin, you need to know scripting. So go ahead and start learning about that. Add it to your resume, play around with it, and you will be a really good system admin in the future. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in a different video.